Hi everybody, Elliot Barron, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back again for another Q&A session. Thank you very much for tuning in and sending in your questions. Please keep those questions coming. We love, love answering them. Uh, we love this service. It's getting very, very popular. So please send them through and we'll answer them. And as I always say, please hit that subscribe button down below somewhere there. We'd love your support to get to that thousand subscriber mark. Um, you know, we'd love to get more and more Australians out there safe, um, more and more disabled passengers or disability passengers, um, more and more included into the conversation. So please, please send your questions and hit that subscribe button and we'll get this channel going and helping the Australian people. So another question has come in from an OT. We love our OTs once again. Um, and this one is around an eight year old client with um, uncontrolled movements and cerebral palsy. So let's go. I have an eight-year-old client, around about 30 kilos in weight, with a diagnosis of dyston dystonic cerebral palsy. A lot of uncontrollable movements and needs postural support to maintain sitting balance. So he's just using a commercial, commercial baby seat or a child seat at the moment, and we're looking at other options such as larger commercial seats, special needs restraints, and, um, yeah, and other things. And basically, she's, the, this OT has mentioned about, she came to one of our talks, and uh, heard us talking about commercially available child seats and what are they and, and talk us through all of that. Okay, so that's what I've got here in the background behind me here. And I'll talk to you about the commercially available child seats and then I'll also talk about the harnesses as well. So the commercially available child seats that we're talking about are your standard baby seats. They look a, a little bit like this. Well, actually, this is what they are. Um, and I've got two different brands, but all the brands actually do this same type of seat. So I'll get in behind here and I'll bring this forward. And what we're talking about, so this would be from Safe and Sound, and this is from a company called InfoSecure. Now, what these seats are is they look, and you may not be able to tell from the screen because it's uh, you know you're in a computer screen or I'm in a computer screen, but they look like a standard baby seat, but they're just much much bigger than a standard baby seat. So these are what we call a Type G. So the letter G, uh, the Type G baby seat, which goes from six months to approximately eight years. Now, this one is a safe and sound product or a bright tax product, and this one is an infrasecure product. In terms of what brand or what make or what model, I don't actually really have a favorite around that. There is a website which is, and I'll put the link below, www.childcarseats.com.au. That will give you a bit of a guideline as to what's been tested and give you some star ratings around seats. But what I can confirm for you is the seat that you're looking for is what's called a Type G. Six months to eight years forward facing child restraint with inbuilt harness. Now, every single manu major manufacturer on the market, Safe and Sound, InfoSecure, Maxi Cozy, Safety First, Darrell, all of these manufacturers, they've all got a Type G product on the market. So you just have to speak to them or, or, or shop around on the market and see what suits you and your vehicle. And, um, and basically away you go with that. And also check out that childcarseats.com website. Um, .com website and that will give you st independent star ratings and crash safety ratings for these seats so you just look up type G seats and you go and find what's the safest one that suits you and away you go and you've got the right seat now being that you're 8 years old and 30 kilos though as I said before these seats are recommended for a child and an average 8 year old 85th percentile Australian child so if your eight year old child here is smaller than that, yes, you can last in one of these and they're gonna cost you less than $500 to last in one of these um, and, and they'll last you for a long time. Then after that, you can look at a special needs seat such as the uh, carrot seat, which we do know is quite a few thousand dollars on the market. Um, another option, as I've mentioned in previous videos, and I'll put a link to the harness videos before and a link to the website where you can find the harness, is a postural harness. And what we've got is a Kariba Swedish made postural harness. It's a modular system, it's an adjustable system, and it's a growing system. So it's a system which I personally believe it's one of the best value for money systems, not because of its price when you buy it, because when you buy it off the shelf, it isn't actually very cheap, but it will last you for your life because it is an adjustable system and a modular system. So what it is, and we've got videos on it, it's a system where you've got a back belt, that's the main basis, and then over time, as you grow in size, you can adjust the various postural supports to grow with you. And then once you're too big for them, you just come and buy the next size up and you just buy the support part. You don't need to buy a whole new harness. 
So you don't need to spend a thousand or two thousand dollars on a whole product. You maybe spend a couple of hundred dollars on an, on a part of the product. So that's what we would highly recommend is moving towards something like an adjustable harness like the Kareva, and I'll put a link to them below. Um, especially when you're moving from eight years onwards, you're moving sort of towards that adult style of transport. You're far from being an adult, but you are moving into adult transport in the vehicle when you are about eight to 10 years old. So you've got to start looking at those options as well. So hopefully this video helps. I'll put a bunch of links to them down below. Thanks for sending in your questions. And as we always say, please hit that subscribe button. It looks a little bit like this. We'd love your support to get to those thousand subscribers. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next video.